right, welcome everyone to another episode of Generation Dan. Uh, I am Dean of the Genetic Marvel, and today uh, we are talking about I Call Bullshit. That is what we're talking about. So, uh, But also, also, what if it's true? And that's the scarier part of that conversation. So uh, with me is our host is... Uh, we have Nick Malfleur Fernandez. <laughs> Kept them. Okay. All right. And we yeah. have uh, Asless Nocock. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> our guest is Danton Lamar. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. All right. Great. Yeah. Oh, Hi, great. everyone. Fantastic start. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you've made it on this show if Dino saves a banner of a horrible nickname for you. That's yeah. I mean, you know what? That's a better I guess so. Uh, our metric now. I think so. Oh, oh my I God. It's warranted. So, uh, yeah, what we were thinking of a topic for today was specifically uh, just the, the amount of baloney that people keep throwing around these days. Uh, people, like, I, I am a firm believer that the breakdown of the family unit and community has resulted in more dumb people not being told, hey, you're an idiot. Shut the fuck up. And I think that is a problem because we've all at some point in our lives stood there and said, Hey, do you think this, this, this? And everyone just looks at you and goes, You're a fucking idiot. And you go, Oh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna read a book instead next time I wanna say something, you know? <laughs> and that was helpful because you learned to shut the fuck up. Uh, mm. but yeah, so what do you guys think? I mean, I agree there should be more shut the fuck up in the world, yeah. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> but that's kind of why I started doing stand-up, was I got told to shut the fuck up one too many times, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go get a microphone, and you can't <laughs> tell that to me. I mean, yeah, at least you're not pretending to be a fucking doctor, though. So. That's true. Well, because <laughs> my, my dad's a doctor, my mom was a nurse. So. Uh, all right, so by, by 2021 Transitive Properties, you too are a doctor. Are a doctor. No. <laughs> Yeah. No, it was the kind of thing where if I tried to self-diagnose, they're like, man, shut the fuck up. Go to a doctor. Like, oh, okay. Uh, Wait, see? I feel like more people need that. Doctor yeah. plus nurse equals... Comedian? Anesthesiologist? No, more like... Know. Awkward um, fantasies, really. Yeah, no, do, no. doctor plus nurse is equal, equals, like, better doctor. There you go. That's the way <laughs> That's how we're going to do it. Dr. Asles no time. Uh, Put some respect on his name. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, if you really want to put respect on it, Asles no talk, MD. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is, that is how you do that. <laughs> that is definitely getting changed right now. Oh, Asles no cock, Hauser, MD. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I gotta say though, should like, be the third. I feel like uh, <laughs> whatever it is you want to do. The like, I yeah, I work, awesome. I work at a, at a doctor's office, and like you can tell there's like stank whenever someone goes like you know I'm you know doctor this, and they're like uh, doctor of optometry, which is do not md, hmm. and like all the mds are like fucking. I'm sure there's a hierarchy yeah. when it comes to doctors. That's I'm sure there is. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go ask my you're dad. Not a doctor a, at, uh, at best, you're a dude. Yeah. yeah. He's like, he's a retired surgeon. He's bored. I guarantee you, I can get an answer out of him at the end of this hour. Let me text him. See what happens. Uh, yeah. awesome. Well, I think Absolutely. we probably want to make it easier for him. Like, like, what doctors are we interested in him ranking? I mean, oh, yeah. I, I feel like it's it's the general hierarchy. You want to know yeah. who stands atop, and then yeah. Do you do you guys also think that like family is probably toward the bottom? Yeah, the doctors. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're right. they're they're like the GPs, first guy right? on the scene, right? Yeah. They're, they're, they're referral junkies. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Like that's, but that's the thing is that's needed because listen, a lot of people that go to doctors are full of shit, yeah. right? Like that's let's start there. Yeah, do need some sort of buffer zone. They're yeah, like the receptionists bullshit. for other doctors. Yeah, well, you know what? They're like, like that's where you go in to no, register. No, they're, and an, they're like, an do you have an appointment? No, no, they're yeah. an, an administrative coordinator. They're not secretary. Like they're they're the fanciest, like an executive secretary mm. type level. Mm. Kitty, I, I, uh, I I'm the director of pr procurement. 
Oh my god, and he just has a cat that comes out of nowhere. My, wow. my wife would I love die his cat. for our cat <laughs> to do that, because like, he's so... Yeah. Not he's so guy. much more a cat than, uh, than what I'm used to, you know? He's like, uh, fuck you and die. Like, he could <laughs> give a shit. Yeah, no, Emma is very much, I need you to cuddle me when I need it, and then get the fuck away. Oh, uh, okay. My, uh, so, so you have to do it when, when it's offered. Right. Oh, Otherwise, yeah, you're like a, you don't know when it's gonna another one's gonna come. Oh, uh, she'll she'll intentionally score you. I can hear her purring. That's oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> the, That's awesome. Welcome to, you know, to Generation Dan's around. ASMR episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a cat purring. Yeah, just a cat purring. A my purring my girlfriend's. Uh, parents have a cat who will literally ride on your shoulder like Pikachu. Like you for real? Up. Yeah, you put him on there, he'll walk around with you for at least the living room. That's Once you go funny. through a doorway, he's like, fuck this, I'm out. But <laughs> I can understand yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You think the doorway's coming for you. Yeah. 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 For sure. Um, I, try to, I try to do that with my mom's tap, but my mom's tap is like, fuck you, no, bye. Like, uh, yeah. she... I, my mom has this theory that she is bad at balance because, like, when she goes upstairs, she's like, <laughs> like, just That's like, oh, like a drunk person, like mm. one foot at a time. You know. <laughs> It is no. That's like our my, my cat will come over. You'll like stretch to pet her mm -hmm. or pet him. And then uh, he'll sit right there. So you have to stretch to pet them. And he's like, why aren't you petting me? Stretch to pet me. Yep. I deserve to be stretched for. And you're like, oh, this is just, thank you for that. <laughs> Glad you know your value. Yeah. You know, what, what I, what I, being allergic to cats, I don't mind them. But I, I just, I, I don't want to. I don't want to like retain the hair afterwards. And that's the mm -hmm. thing when you like pet a cat, you walk away and you're like, Am I a cat now? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're well on your way with your coat every time. Yeah. So it's like a, a werewolf thing where it's like, if, am I man or beast yeah. at this point? <laughs> yeah. I am the cat man. Yeah. I <laughs> am cat man. Uh, That's like a, you know, that, the cat that would make man. the boys yeah, make cat sense. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> horrific. Um, do so. Do you guys are? Do your cats look out the window at like squirrels and stuff and make the little uh, the sound that the, the little clicking sound? Uh, yes. She yeah? gets some squirrels from here. Oh, okay. What floor are you on? Thirty sixth. Oh, what? Oh. So the fuck. She, she can see planes. Yeah, she sees planes. They, Does they she make the clicking sound at planes <laughs> as they're landing? She, knew, she doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. No, no, cats do stand a chance. That's the scary yeah. part. Is yeah. you let a cat, a feral cat on a plane, it's taking that in that plane. Like that's just what's gonna happen. <laughs> provided provided claws are a box the, cutter. You, oh, for sure. I, yeah. I think provided it gets into the cockpit, it could probably cause some severe issues. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, that's and that's the thing is like a cat definitely, and you know what a pilot a pilot would definitely pick up a cat. Why is there a cat? Oh my god, it's a cat! Claw! Right into the neck. You're like, yeah, that cat is taking that plane down, hundred yeah. percent. Then you got an air marshal that flew a simulator once. It's like, so I don't know. I'm supposed to shoot the guys, not the fly plane. <laughs> so the cat already tore through the co-pilot. All right, cool. yeah, hundred percent. <laughs> Yeah. And you know what? You could definitely see a cat like go to press on one side of the handle and just yeah. be like, mm. and the cat's like, don't do it. And he's like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> he's like, I said don't. He's like, oh, <laughs> don't care. It's like, and now back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have, you ever, have you ever seen that video where it's like, um, th there's a cat and he's, it's not the keyboard cat that you're thinking of, but he's standing on a synthesizer and it's playing like a looped tone. And the cat's like, this is weird. And, oh, then this, and then it stands on another note and it goes a little higher. And then it's like, what? What's going on? <laughs> and the, the guy filming is laughing his ass off. And then eventually the cat's like, fuck this. I want to go get pets. So it walks over the keyboard and then goes up to the cat, the camera and starts purring. It's adorable. It's uh, like, dude, uh, cat videos are like so no fucks given. Like, and I yeah. love it because 
like realistically, have you seen the one where somebody goes to uh, pet the cat and it's like, please no petting, please don't pet me, don't pet me, no okay. petting, there's no petting zone, and you're like, that's hilarious. And there's another one where it's uh, <laughs> the cat is Puerto Rican in this. Yeah, thing. oh, it's uh, yeah, it's and it's so jokes. And then it's like, then there's the ones where uh, it's like the the like somber voice and it's like today i realized that the humans demand to only use one hand and to pet me and instead of both hands that they have so i feel like the love they give is only half and half of love is low and it's a cat and you're like what is happening here you know <laughs> again to remind the uh the audience here our, our topic today is stop the bullshit Stop the bullshit. Okay, so let's let's be honest. From here, the from the four of us talking and sharing this and the views it gets, can we start a rumor that a cat hijacked a plane? Okay, uh, I feel like any any point in 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 the future that that kind of somebody, if you hear someone talking about it, this is where it started. Well, I I think I think we could definitely start with um, a cat hijacking one of those gliders. You know, where like a human... That happened! You, they had you, to land for the cat. You saw the cat, right? I That's what I'm cat. thinking about. But what if that cat, rather than being scared, the cat was nefarious? He was, he was jumping What if it board. had motives, right? And then it, if it, like, if it jumped onto the human's back and then, like, sunk its claws in and then started controlling it, like, kind of like Pickle Rick style with the rats... <laughs> Oh, you know? I thought I was done with the pickle rick stuff. Yeah. Oh, ratatouille style. Yeah, just just fine. Like whatever. Let's go to our expert hair. and say, is pickle rick possible? This is. is pickle rick possible? <laughs> All right. Now we have our doctor on the line. Oh yeah. my god. Do you think this you could what, create an what exoskeleton? Whole answer. One hundred percent. There has to be. There has to be someone uh, that can make the judgment call, and I personally trust the doctor. <laughs> I do. I trust. <laughs> hey, I even added the MD. Like, come okay, on, that's no. pretty. That's, that's not pretty helpful. But... <laughs> so, like, do you think the cat, provided it's able to control the human, uh, either either uh, ratatouille or a uh, pinprick style? Um, <laughs> Do you think it could just fly on instinct? Do you think they have? Do, do you think they they would be able to understand thermals? I no. I or, feel or would like they just cat, nosedive? A cat I feel like would nosedive. figure it out. Like a cat is an extremely resourceful animal, right? And considering the fact that they're like, there's a good chance that they would aim for the mountain and then just jump off at the last last second, like roadrunner oh, style. Would. Yeah, exactly. they That's would. exactly. And they'd be yeah. like, "Hey, did you guys see that? That was crazy. I'm gonna be over here taking a nap." Yeah. Like that's, that's what cats do, right? You guys have fun. You should clean it up around here. That's a lot of smoke. I'm yeah, always like worried that's... about them decelerating. That's where I like, even if they're able to jump off, like you know, if, you, if you're still at cat like, magic, speed, obviously, but... cat magic. I, that's I, how they would. They use. might lose two or three lives in that moment. You know, it, it wouldn't just be one. But I believe they would gain the souls of the plane crash. That's right. So I mean, cats have nine. Cats can do that. That's how they extend the lives, right? It makes sense. Every life a cat takes, it gains. So See, I, so now, cats, now I'm just thinking they're of like born a, of murder. <laughs> I'm just thinking of a movie where, where it's like a cat assassin and like they're, they're hundreds of years old and they're just going up and like cutting people's throats, being like, I must continue to live. Like I've been around like, since the Black Plague and like that's how that they're right. still alive. I definitely feel that's like this a is the last comic. time you met with the Meow Clan. Hundred percent, right? This is this is where the tide turns for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because its final kill is Master Splinter. Makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. And then now he has to fight the turtles. It's, def it's a dark, a dark uh, series. Oh wow! So like the 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 cat has to end up going up against the turtles. The I think that's the only reason. Yeah. yeah. The, it, it's, and, and, so and, you get and a movie on the cat, and then it ends the movie by killing Splinter, and then it's the start of the Turtles movie. You have like it, uh, a TCU, if you will. And and here's the thing. The Turtles will win, but he will kill Leonardo. Leonardo like, has so, to die. Yeah, has so the, they have to lose their leader. 
right? And then like, and then it's like, can the turtles go on with the, you know, without their, their center? Yeah. Well, you guys know that there's a comic where uh, there's only one turtle left. Mm. It's Donatello, isn't it? No. Not surprised. I, it's uh, uh, I don't want to I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it's it's, We're not gonna it's read a very. It. It's got to be well, my I feel favorite, like, right? I feel like saying it wouldn't ruin it, but yeah. it's yeah, it's Michelangelo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like you just it, depressed I eating just pizza. <laughs> I feel like Nick was like, "We're not going to read it," and that is like, "I would not." Damn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't care about spoilers. You know this about me. Um, uh, gosh. Fuck so wait. I mean, I would love to see a movie called Cat Assassin. Like, uh, hundred percent. Like, I'd watch that. Well, did you see the cat in uh, what was the one <laughs> that? Yeah, meow, man. No, but you guys saw what was the little cat uh, movie with uh, Key and Peele? Oh, fucking Keanu. Uh, Keanu, yeah, yeah. So, do you remember how badass that cat looked like in a do rag? I'm like, yeah, totally. Cat Assassin is definitely a thing. <laughs> cat Assassin would definitely sell it. Do, yeah, cat. Is it like in a Hitman type of vibe? Like we're, we're like there, there's like there's like a there's like a you know school where they take like cat orphans. And they and they train them to be assassins, and you, you know, and and they they have like the back of their head is shaved with a barcode, <laughs> like, like just the back like of the cat man. head. Yeah, legit, just hit bad. It's hit bad, but but it's cats. Hey, <laughs> hey, let's be honest. If you tattooed a cat, no line would be straight. It'd be like just all jagged, yeah, just, 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 right? Like this, and they would fucking murder that person. No, the tattoo is a ball of yarn. But it each has a unique ball of yarn. So it's like how many stripes on your ball of yarn, you know? Yeah, or what color it is, different, or, different yeah. colors and patterns, and then it's like it, it's also like maybe they they had the same teachers, they have the same color and pattern, but like you know the 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 the, the squiggles are different. There's yeah, so much so. depth to this cat assassins. Well, hold on, are we doing cat assassins or cat assassin? Right? Well, you do cat assassin. For the first one, the first and then one. Cat Assassins is your sequel. Yeah, and then, uh, that, and that, then well, listen, on, like, and then the third and then is the, the Return of the Cat Assassin. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then the fourth one would be Cat Assassin's Legacy. Yeah, you know, okay. so then, like, is where he has a daughter. One? Yeah, it, or, or like it's like a, it's like a distant nephew who's just like you must take up the mantle of Cat Assassin. Okay, wait, yeah. it's Howard the Duck. <laughs> it's Howard the Duck. Dude, bring back Howard the Duck. Wait, Danton, what, what, what were you going to say? Oh, I was going to say, like, uh, oh, shit, Cat Sassing, uh, Meow's the Time. That was Meow's the Time! <laughs> meow is the Time! <laughs> meow or Never? <laughs> meow or Never! never. Yeah. This is turning into Cat this Die Hard, and I love it! Okay. With ninjas! Yeah, I oh. live Cat or Die Meow. <laughs> Seriously, like, the amount of rot that Marvel <laughs> movies have caused to our brains. Where we're just well, this like, is happening. Immediate this sequel. Happen. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. Listen, yeah. we By are the way, willing like, to sell this idea, so just contact us. We have an email at us. A generative email at the bot. We will write the script up, and it will God. be action-packed. We're talking, is, Marvel's got nothing on this. Who is Katsassin's villain? Dogs or no, no we no, can't do dogs because no. dogs get a lot of hate, no. right? And, I'm and dogs is, we do is so predictable. Capybara, Capybara, <laughs> they're actually like a bunch of mob bosses. Okay, no, think it, about it. It's, oh, it's, a, it's a big yeah. rodent. No, yeah, okay. the biggest rodent in the world. Think, He's a kingpin. I think it might be snakes. I was gonna say, I think it should be Senor Serpent. Yeah, okay. serpent. I mean, why not all of them? You have multiple movies to do this on. Like, the yeah. Danger of Foreigners in the first one. I like it. Thank you, Danton. <laughs> That's fucked up. Okay. <laughs> By the way, my dad uh, my dad texted me back about the hierarchy of doctors. Oh, my God. Oh, all right. <laughs> so here it's we just go. In. Yep. Here we go. Quotes. Uh, MDs are generally the boss. We have a bunch of colleagues who are DOs and are treated equally. 
and have mostly the same privileges. Their training is probably not as vigorous as MDs, though, so there is a hierarchy there. Uh, continuing, uh, the public is confused about the difference between an ophthalmologist and an optometrist. Ophthalmologists or MDs can do surgery as well as glasses, while optometrists always call themselves doctors without putting their degree up, so the public will remain confused. They are only qualified to screen for eye diseases with minimal ability uh, to prescribe drops and without privileges to do lasers or eye surgery. There you go. DOs are below MDs. So, it's your dad, if the world was blind, he'd be like, yeah, who cares? That's not a job. <laughs> like, you just, like, <laughs> Fuck your life. That's, can you ask a follow-up question? Um, are surgeons coolest? Of course, he would say yes to that. He's a surgeon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that, come on. Let's I mean, come on. Like, that like that, that's definitely how surgeons feel. Yeah. They do. Yeah, no, surgeons definitely walk around, and be like, "I'm cutting shit open. I'm sewing it back up. Well, yeah, I'm no, the coolest." Better, better question. Yeah. What are the coolest surgeons? Like what? Brain what oh, orthopedic yeah, yeah. surgeons. Apparently, I asked him that when I was a kid. Uh, really? Oh, bone, yeah. bone guys, yeah, yeah, or just like so the, the the stuff you see doing on like athletes and shit. It's like a big yeah. deal. They're you know. Oh, because it's so, about the yeah. full body function, right? Yeah, it's a, it's exactly. a very because there's uh, it's, it's performance cardiac, based too, right? Are tough, yeah. brain surgeons, tough, and yeah. yeah, that one too. Yeah, it's it's because it's their whole. It's so easy to fuck it up. Like. Oh yeah, and, also, and it's yeah. but it's it's a whole catalyst for a whole bunch of other problems, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, also tendons. That too, no. But like, uh, I remember when I was a kid. Like, you remember take your kid to work day? Uh, was that horrifying? <laughs> yes, it was because he was like, "Hey, put on these scrubs and wash your hands, and come watch me cut someone's eyes open." Awesome. <laughs> and just the kind of thing where I was like, "Oh," because in my head I heard eye doctor, and me being like seven or whatever, I was like, "Oh, put drops on it." Make it better. Uh, that's, he yeah, that's blew fair. my tiny little mind. And uh, okay, but like, yeah. did, okay, so so Danton, uh, Atlas is in the LA. So did you go to school the next day? And they're like, you have to write a report. Did you write like a horror novella of like? Then he took the scalpel to their eyes. Yes, exactly. Uh, kinda. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, that's that's one way to definitely do it. Like. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure your teacher thought it was inspired. <laughs> yeah. I I just remember well because he had to do a little little presentation yesterday. I went with my dad, to, so like midway through, my teacher was like, "You can you can probably stop." Uh, <laughs> and then the sutures yeah. didn't fall. We had to use staples, and staples around the eyes are difficult because it, your brain. Yeah, it's fantastic. Can you imagine? Yeah. Little Timmy in the back is just one hundred percent, one hundred percent, just vomiting oh profusely. That's, everywhere. that's officially how you get no more, fr no more sleepovers, no more friends. You're just like, oh, no, yeah. no, you're not invited. That's well, it. Luckily, most of most of the kids in my class were like, whoa, like because this was around Halloween, sort of. So, mm. uh, yeah. fortunate. Fortunate, yeah. Yeah. But did you like I want Enterprise to cut out of your con, yeah. <laughs> that was the worst thing I've ever heard. <laughs> weird, weird uh, like Dracula becoming Dracula would movie. not be an eye doctor of all no, things. No, what really? doctor? Yeah, I, Cardiologist, oh, uh, what are you talking no, about? That no, 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 phlebotomist, the doctor of the circulatory system, yeah, phlebotomist. They, they oh, would phlebotomist. be a phlebotomist. And then he's just like, no, I'm just tasting it for plasma. <laughs> What's a phlebotomist again? Uh, so a healthcare professional who draws blood. The person that, totally that takes your Google blood just now. Oh, no. He would not debase himself with such a poor job. That's horrible. I mean, what do you mean? He's, he's directly in, in the supply chain. They wouldn't notice a, a few bags missing. He's the one that registers them as a new bag. So they wouldn't even know that they're missing. I'm not saying it's not a good idea. I'm just saying that vampires look down on people. So you, you're saying so you, wouldn't you would have be a lackey? They wouldn't what? He wouldn't be Dr. Acula? Yeah. Scrubs reference! Oh. Yeah. That's <laughs> fantastic. I've never heard that before, and that was great. 
Oh, it's, I would love uh, to take credit for it, but yeah, not Scrubs. Okay. <laughs> it, it's like a it's like a little subplot where JD's trying to write a horror movie called Doctor Acula. And, That's a yeah. horrible name, and I love yeah. it. <laughs> you never see him finish it. I, I I wish you could see him like be like the final cut of Doctor Acula. He takes it to can. Like, yeah. <laughs> he does the film festival. Oh my sequence. god. Oh. What were you going to say? I was going to say, I used to want to sell shirts. I probably still will. That'll say, that's a, I love Dr. Uggs. Uh, okay. Smart. I love drugs. <laughs> Are you fun? It took you, really? You had to explain it to your face. <laughs> they were both. In my defense, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very just, high I'm, right I'm now. Thinking about, I'm just thinking about how you would, how you would put it on the shirt. Like, what, what? Where you would want it'd be to like I heart New York, just I heart Doctor Uggs. Uh, okay, all right. I was I was Same thinking like it, it looks too. like a it looks like a like a polo shirt like from like someone that works at the office, you know? No, no you want like a big like billowy T-shirt, the kind you get at like a stand on the my closet. Screen. Yeah, yeah, Dino's closet, exactly. <laughs> yeah, um, like tarpaulins. It's fantastic. <laughs> I have a I have a question regarding bullshit. So. Um, recently I've been reaching out to, I've been doing, I have this habit of whenever I see someone, yeah, exactly. Uh, mm. whenever I see someone, uh, post, uh, a, a, a show they're on, I will try and find the booker for that show and be like, hi, I'm a friend of friend. I'm, uh, you know, person I'm friends with on Facebook. I was wondering if you had a spot open on your show in the next few months, I can send a tape as an audition, blah, 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 whatever the thing is. Sure. Um, and I'm wondering how, like, do you, do you pump yourself up? Do you go? I was on this comedy festival. I won the eargasm contest in 2020. Blah blah. Like, how much do you are you supposed to say, or do you just go, hey, do you have spots open? I'm this guy's friend. Can I send a tape? Like, I feel like that depends on the show. Mm. Yeah. So it's a gamble then. That's. Yeah. I mean, like, if you know you're trying to get on some high-profile shit, then yeah, pick yourself up. Like. Yeah, no, high-profile shit. I tried to pick myself up. Like, there, there was this one out of town where it's like I'm doing 15 minutes and getting like 80 bucks for it. So hmm. that's pretty worth TBH. Um, yeah. Although it probably yeah. just pays for my gas tank to and from, but whatever. It's <laughs> you know. You gas, yeah. yeah. If you're bringing even, it's a good night. <laughs> yeah. Most nights. <laughs> It's uh, it's also like one one thing that sucks about LA comedy is that most shows in LA are just comedians with other comedians and their friend like it's everywhere a after a while so but like when you go outside of LA it's people being like I got nothing to do on this Saturday night I'm gonna go see some comedy oh it's at the bar in my neighborhood I'm gonna fucking show up and get wasted and have a good time and like that tends to be more fun in my opinion yeah yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if it's the same in toronto are you in yeah. toronto too yeah Dathan? yeah brewery shows yeah. are great brewery shows yeah yeah some of them are starting to do food too like they'll have a food Ooh. truck outside and stuff it's pretty nice good. Like it, it, and they usually at a brewery they'll have a big parking lot and stuff so mm -hmm. they have big patios so it's actually yeah. it was good even before the pandemic it's i'm sure they're doing really well right now i yeah, really like empanadas at ours nice like, That's like right next door that does empanadas you can pre-order with your ticket Fantastic. I'm a big fan of the like big parking lot behind the building stage yep. show. Yep. Like, because it, it, you feel okay about not having your mask on, even if you're vaccinated. Yeah. And you're, you know, you're with a crowd of people. And so it feels like closed in enough. Yeah. Park shows are different because you're like, I see you. I see you guys. But also, uh, there's a, there's a, a dad playing catch with his son and creating heartwarming memories while I'm telling dick jokes. Yeah. So yeah. weird. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, that is the beauty of a park show. Um, yeah. That's but that's the whole thing, right? Like, uh, there's something to be said about having an actual stage, mm -hmm. right? It's, sure. it's having like a, a platformed area and stuff like those little things, even if it's just like a six inch stage, whatever it is, it mm -hmm. just, it changes the whole feel of it. Right. It's, that's yeah. a real show. Whereas yeah. a lot of times, uh, yeah. In a park, it's a park. Like, yeah, it's just weird. 
I did a park show where it was like an amphitheater, so you had like the uh, yeah, that's a legit that's, show. Like, I was gonna say that's yeah. more established. Like that's yeah. like, it's made yeah. for shows. Yeah, and just sitting people next to some dog shit. That's uh, yeah. exactly yeah, definitely weird. Or kind or like, like you're preaching. You're like you're, you're, you're... <laughs> brothers and sisters. I have in fact gotten high off some lemonade by accident at a Nick. show or whatever. Shit I'm doing. Nick, were you at the show when we like follow? We basically did follow like a preacher, like at his little congregation. Like no, they were yeah. there having a moment, and like we were setting up, and they're just like, all right, you know, wrapping up as we no, were, like, I, I, I don't think so. That one. Uh, <laughs> Do bad. tell what I happened. Like, well, I mean, I, I definitely thought the like the preacher was gonna come over and like bless us before he left because like he kept looking over and I was like, I do not need to be saved, homeboy. Like, don't bring <laughs> 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 that shit to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, but, you like, appear to be a sinner based off of saying. nothing. <laughs> I bless you. You appear to be a sinner. <laughs> I mean, you know, the fact that we were smoking joints and bringing booze and speakers into the park might have tipped him off, but uh, yeah, okay, well, then. he's obviously <laughs> racist. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. yeah, he hates white people. Yeah, what a prick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's horrible. I uh. I was watching this podcast a while back where they were trying to come up with like what like other races have stereotypes about white people that are weird and apparently like white people smell like wet dog a oh, lot I've, well yeah wet white people smell like wet dog yeah yeah that's... wet white people smell like wet dog I've which is that apparently that's like a ubiquitous scent that that like if you go to water park you just what what white people smell like wet dog <laughs> i don't know if that's true <laughs> I mean, like, it's one of those things, you know, I, I, it, I, it's, it's proven true too many times to be like, it never happens. <laughs> Do you think it's like the type of soap they typically use that like when re-wet? Well, you know? I think that a lot of people don't moisturize. That's one thing. Do you think it's a dry, oh, it's the scent of dry skin? Uh, well, it, there's the. Remember, smell is particulates, right? So particulates go in the yeah. air, and then they eventually travel into your snot. So mm -hmm. whereas someone who's very well moisturized uh, would uh, like probably that emit that scent. And also, too, like there are oils and stuff. It really depends. Like there's a lot of things uh, that will affect your scent, right? Yeah. It could be a byproduct of not seasoning your food. Oh, no, now point. you're just an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> now you're just a dickhead, right? One of, one of my favorite... you know what? Like, yeah, fuck you, buddy. Like, what? I you're didn't say spice. Like what? I, I just said seasoning. <laughs> Can mean anything. You know, I'm Greek, and I have an Asian wife, okay? Yeah. I have all the seasoning I want. Yeah, you got fuck five you. Spice. We're not worried about you. Star anise. No, no, no. This, <laughs> that's, it's not about you right now. This is about me, and I completely... I'm like, that's fine, I guess. Like, because, <laughs> okay, like, I can't be like, nah, because it's true. Yes, exactly. Uh, I got the W card. <laughs> oh, my God. You can make fun of white people because Atlas says. Well, okay, so. This is, uh, but this is the thing is white people go, yeah, it's probably true. It, it like, is. I don't, but it's that's the, the thing is, it's like, I don't care. But, like, realistically, no, uh, Look, it's, I'm, it, I'm down, like, no, I've been swimming a lot of times, but I'm like, most of the time I was swimming was in, like, Greece or in a pool by myself. Like, I'm trying to think. I'm like, when have I ever smet, smelled I wet, just have, white person? I have a bad <laughs> smell, so it's like I I can't even tell. That's what's so annoying about, like, all of the symptoms of COVID is it's all stuff that I could possibly have at any given time, mm -hmm. right? Or it's like, okay. If uh, if you're a, a, a fat white guy with a crappy sense of smell and you hate 13 Reasons Why, you may have COVID. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bit? Because that's that 13 yeah, Reasons Why was was yeah. queued up. I, I I hate that show so much. Like, fuck that. Never show. seen it. My mom hates it because she had to deal with it in her it, school about like oh like they, they she it was like there was a worry among the parents that like 
A lot of suicides would be well, happening among, it, it, the, among good. the young people. Let them die. It, it glorifies yeah. suicide, but mostly. Netflix has a boner for it and continues to add seasons and neglecting amazing shows like The Santa Clarita Diet and American Vandal. While at Very the same good. time, Very the show good. fails its premise the second you get to episode 14. That's correct. Well, like I don't, I don't even know yeah. what is it. So it's about what a kid killing himself. It's and like thirteen reasons herself. why he did it, or she oh, kills okay. herself and then leaves thirteen. Apparently, thirteen tapes of why she did it. Seems like an asshole thing, thing to do. It. Yeah, it is definitely. Um, oh yeah, let her fucking kill herself. Yeah. Oh, and I'm that. guessing episode fourteen, she's not dead. I don't know, but there's more than episode thirteen episodes. So yeah. fuck yeah. you, like yeah. Um, what yeah, I can say. Not, 26 reasons why it was like yeah. that isn't yeah or just don't call it that call it something else. it's like it's like uh, the city of riverside being called that while not having a river anymore fuck you change the name there's no river anymore you're not beside any <laughs> river adjacent no there's no like, river it's a dry river river once was yeah there you go That's river once was yeah <laughs> Previously, previously on the river. Uh, the that's, that's, the I feel like that's a California, California thing. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, that's yeah. a California thing to be what like. Is... Previously known as Riverside. Yeah. Well, not so much that because, like, the, there, you know, in England, there's Stratford upon Avon, meaning Stratford upon the River Avon. So you could probably do the same. With, you know, previously on River. <laughs> it sounds better in another language. Yeah, it's a hundred percent. Are you kidding? Definitely. That sounded so bad. Yeah, Stratford upon Avon sounds like. like yeah, that's like that's a place yeah. where you're like, I'm from there, and people go, hmm, really? Yeah. You know, uh, previously on River, like, are you on a TV show called it's, River? No, that just, just sounds like it. that's where people die. Like that, people don't. I, people go I there think... and never leave. I think you just rename it to Miss Water. <laughs> Miss Water's pretty good. I like it. I mean, but then that's the entire state of California. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. other states. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> Not the, just the one state. The uh, the state of California only the exists of- because William Mulholland was a megalomaniac. That's it. Um. <laughs> what? The, the the guy who basically took all the water from Colorado and put it in California. That's oh yeah. Uh, how did he do that? I'm I'm unfamiliar with this history. Lots of money and fucking. Damn. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Tell us a story. Thing. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> is this a is this like a piping thing? Is or is he kind of yeah? Well, he laid some well, pipe and then the next thing yeah. you know, there was water. Aqueducts and whatnot. Yeah. everywhere. Yeah. What I Aqueducts. can say. Not like the Roman kind, but just underground and whatever. I'm, I'm done. I'm not doing this. Tubes. They're calling bullshit on me. There's the point of the episode. Pipes. Uh, he pipes. made up some. <laughs> can we, can we replace that with two pipes? Yeah. Uh, pipes. Yes. I I got my flu shot this week. The the regular uh, kind. What? Oh. You yeah. Don't have winter. We we have a disease like it's winter, but that's um, just because you're all sluts. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, I think that's just overpopulation uh, in a yeah. dense area. Yeah, but, well, it's not even dense. LA is like eighty small towns crammed together. It's not really like a. It's not New York. New York is, you know, right packed yeah. in there. Well, LA's New York is on top of each other, right? There, yeah, yeah. New, New York is on top of each other. LA is out from each other. It's this. Uh, yeah. But it's like, still it, decided to be right next door. It, yeah, it, it's when it's when you shit your pants and it goes. Yeah, like, and, and yeah. you know it. It sounds like it'd be a really good idea to just like helicopter everywhere. everywhere. Pretty much, LA is a diaper blowout of a city. That. I mean, I feel like that's most blowout of a city. They're just like, no, we have enough space to do whatever we want. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like people were like, where do I go, for, like from here, and they just like, I'm gonna exit Over through there. the gift shop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exit through the. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, yeah, how so, dare you? How 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 dare he bring up exit to the gift shop again? No, um, what was I gonna say uh, about L.A. and uh, aqueducts? No, not aqueducts. It was oh right, right. flu flu shot, flu shot, flu so, shot. Um, so I I was in there and I had to tell three separate people twice each that no, I was not there for my COVID shot. Um, <laughs> so I went there and I was like, I, I scheduled online at the right aid, you know, flu shot, you know, 4 30 PM. 
I go in and they're like, hi there. What are you here for? I'm like, I'm here to, for my flu shot. They're like, oh, your COVID shot? No, my flu shot. Oh, okay. They, they bring me into the room where they're, they're supposed to do it. Um, you know, guy comes in. Are you here for the COVID shot? No, I'm here for my flu shot. Turns around on one heel, walks out, comes back in 30 seconds later. Okay. Uh, wait, just to make sure this is the flu shot. Yes! <laughs> you know, sticks me with it. Leaves again. Another person comes in. Okay, so... Uh, we just need to make sure there's no side effects. Just hang out here for half an hour. Uh, this is the COVID shot, right? No, it's my flu. I, I, I took my Vax card out at this point. I'm like, here, I got my COVID shot. This is the regular flu shot. Oh, okay. Leaves. Another person comes in, a fourth person, and was like, hey, uh, you've been here half an hour, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, if there's no side effects of the COVID shot, you can leave. Flu shot! And just walked out. I was like so done with it by that point. And who's on first? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> that was a roller coaster, sir. That was a I roller was so, coaster. I was, that so, I was there. I was yeah. so pissed off by the fourth person. I was like, I'm done. I, I can you see. Know, you I thought they go- would have stopped asking <gasps> you after you got the shot. That's what enough. I thought too. But like, uh, oh my god, I just uh, yeah. whatever. I time. have it now. That's good, and it'll probably ha- what happened last year, which was I got the shot and then it mutated midseason. And then I got it anyway. Mm. But it, it was not as bad as when I got the flu other years. So, you know, still Where? good. You know, you know what I'm really excited about what? is uh, they just released two new courses for Mario Golf on the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> oh, okay. And I am like, I am so excited to play those today. Like. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't never thought as an adult I'd be this excited to just like oh my god I get to swing a fake club in new fake places two new fake places and I am just I am bubbling with excitement like I, I can't tell you how much I gotta say I was on the golf team in high school if I yeah exactly if uh, <laughs> I was on the golf team in high school if I told somebody how excited I was to play a golf course they would kick me in the nuts because oh, playing yeah. golf is not cool if if Nick started that con- that sentence while we were driving I just pull over and be like you just get the fuck out of my car you just get the fuck out <laughs> what a fucking All I'm hearing weird person is- you are <laughs> Read people that have never played Mario Golf and I mean, so don't I, understand. I, I, I played I Toadstool Tour on that. the GameCube. That was it. <laughs> this is Toadstool's Tour, but better. It's yeah, because it's on the Switch, right? Yeah. Toadstool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you great. Know, people, socialize your children younger, okay? <laughs> because they learn not to be complete dipshits in a conversation. <laughs> hey. All I did was share my excitement, and you're calling me a dipshit in a conversation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am. Is but, it, this is okay. This is where the bullshit starts. Okay. This wow. is it. Okay. This is someone says something to you. You have to make sure they know right here. Some he, kind of he friend, eh? Do you know? He has to know that. Hey, that was some stupid shit you just said. Funny, funny as hell, but some stupid shit. Yeah. Okay. And that is that is how you stop the thing. That and releasing a movie called Cat Assassins. Yeah, you, we you know what you, you know what's not stupid is uh, later grammar me too. That's 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 what? not stupid shit at all. What the Wait, fuck what? is he talking about? What? Right here. No, over here. Oh. Just, uh, oh, 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 Dark forest, oh, possibly your closet. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was funny. I th- I am thinking I'm going to change it. It's not so much that I can barely read it, so it, it just yeah, kind of doesn't really look like anything. Yeah, I mean, I saw a book face, and I was like, "Where? Yeah. I mean, I get that." Yeah, but uh, later I, I have to squint to see Me Too and Dark Forest and possibly your closet, and I have like decent vision too. No, yeah. you don't. His dad's an ophthalmologist. You need new Did robot you say eyes. Ophthalmologist. Uh, ophthalmologist, right? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, it's we, weird. There's we a G. This. We covered this. We, there, there's a G, covered. but you say off. Uh, well, actually, there, there, there's no G in ophthalmologist. It's uh, was O P P H O P. Wait. Hang on. I, I have to like O P T H Ophthalmologist. It's yeah, a, no, but yeah, you o- pronounce it off. Not yeah, off. O P H T H A L 
M O L G I S T. But for some reason, you say ophthalmologist. Oh, well, it's O P H T H. Yeah, O P H T H. It's fucking wild. It's stupid. But there's an F in there somehow. Like yeah, for, ophthalmologist. You, you don't pronounce the F yeah. sound. You just go ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. I don't know. Uh, I, I just love remember... the three of you trying to explain how to say a Greek word to a Greek person in Greek. That was fucking. That was a treasure. Well that done. was a treasure. You that... dumb shit. Yeah, you, know, you, you replace it with an F. You don't. It's not ophthalmologist. You have to replace it with it. No. Learn it's Greek, a... people. It's well, worth yeah. your it fucking time. I did. I. Beta. If you learn I, Greek well enough, your economy will collapse. Oh, yeah, because we're sitting pretty right now there, eh, Nick? Fucking dipshit. Okay? <laughs> I, just love, I just love why the Greek economy collapsed. It's the Greekest thing ever. It's that Which is what? They set up their whole economy so that you could retire whenever you want. <laughs> and the way that it's funded is that the people who are working currently work for, like, fund the people that already retired. Yeah. But they didn't put a like a, a like a floor on when you could retire. So people just started retiring at 28. Awesome. And, <laughs> and it For just that, none of that is true. So okay, right there. There we go. Ah, okay. So yeah. For the people, I'm for the people listening Egyptian. to this episode, I highly recommend watching All right. Watching All right. All right. Now Gina is going to give us the uh, the Constantine <laughs> version of that story. Yeah. It, uh, I feel like I, mean, I would use an accent probably, you know? Yeah. Uh, this is this is stupid. You nobody know, retired at twenty eight, stupid. Okay? This this you twenty eight you're a loser, you stay home. That's how it works. Okay? No, what was happening was that people were able to secure employment and then contractually they were able to find a way to not have to show up. Okay? So you had people doing multiple jobs, getting multiple pay, and then you had a bureaucracy just out of control. That was number one. Then they just kept on getting money from the European Union. But the idea that people could retire early, that was just years of service, right? Like there's, there's obviously a calculation. There's not no calculation. Come on. <laughs> we invented math, you dipshit. Yeah, but... Uh, it's a better story. Mine's a better story. I made Your this. story sucks Look, donkey we know, we know the better story wins these days. Yeah. It's a <laughs> 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 Okay, here, fuck you guys. Let's do this. What if it's true? Yeah, 28. You know what? Fuck your country. I don't give a shit. Greece is just fine. Yeah, we retired at 28. You know what? It's called enjoying retirement. Dude, I, I know, for real. so hard at 28. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I'm doing a pre-retirement wash right now. Like, I haven't... I've been doing comedy for about five years now. Mm-hmm. and I, Or no, four years? Five? I don't know. I think it's about five. And I'm like, I feel like I'm enjoying this time off as opposed to being profitable still but i'm like but i'm working towards profitability it's like i've pre-retired some of my time because let's i'm not i'm not lasting to 65 right (laughs) it's not gonna happen if i uh, look i've already outlived jesus and alexander the great i'm like i don't need to outlive anyone else i'm good not a lot not a lot of people outlive alexander the great and then be like i outlived alexander the great it's just kind of a given you know you know what? It's a bad way to talk about babies there, sir. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, with the number of school shootings in America. Is, it's it, to, like, is it given that you're going to make it to Alexander the Great? <laughs> Listen, it's uh, very tough times. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of hard up people. It's, what are you going to do, man? People you, are killed. You know, people are dying. You know what, what, what's fun with math, though? It's you're more likely to get struck by lightning than get shot in a school. Globally or just in America? Just within the United States. Yeah. You're more likely to get works. You're more likely to get struck by lightning than shot in the school. Yeah. I don't don't think that's a win. As a I don't know. I'm pretty sure, like, yeah, that's mm, that seems like a win. Like I I feel like I feel like Well it's not I I'm not saying it's a win. I'm just saying it's an interesting it's an interesting fact. Okay, but are we are we talking during the same timeline? Yes, within the same period, a year. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Those numbers would be skewed, though, in certain ways. And are we well, talking about well, school shooter, thing. or also like that guy who no, tried no, to shoot here, up the dark night? Here's knight? the thing: it is skewed, but 
like what no one thinks about like we compare things to getting struck by lightning there's a lot of fucking storms yeah <laughs> there's a lot of lightning so it's it's way sure. more common than you think it is right but like for some reason it we everyone says like uh, it's not like you're gonna get struck by lightning like but you you can you easily can damn I th- well, because like usually people when there's a storm, people are like, "I'm gonna be inside." That's yeah, kind of why. Would you, okay, but how, what's the ratio? Is it from like people actually getting hit? Is that what we're measuring, or the yeah. times that lightning hits? No, the uh, how many people actually get hit? Okay, so you're saying yeah. there are more often occurrences of people getting hit by lightning. Don't you fucking explode like when lightning hits you? No, like, I know you actually I've seen the tattoos and shit. Most people survive. Most people survive. Like you, you guys have get... seen the tattoos, like the the bruising that it does. It's like it looks like you lightning get... all through your body, right? Like yeah. it's messed up. Yeah, you get horribly burned and like burned internally too. But mm-hmm. um, you you survive for the most part. What's it's not a good worst time. In- worst injury you guys have? I'm curious. Worst worst injury? Yeah. Fatness is that an injury? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Self inflicted? Uh... Yes. Injury? No. Uh, uh, I got a few I mean, I, I got oh, We're gonna play like that, eh? Like, my body, time. my choice, Atlas. My body, my choice. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Any, Let's... any injuries? Hmm? All right. Who's got okay. my? Who's got an injury? Okay. Uh, I think Nick Dan- froze for a second. Okay. Yeah. Let Dan- Let Danton go first. He's our guest. <laughs> Uh, I would say like my worst injury. I don't know. Like I, I've had concussions too. I've torn ligaments. Uh, like I fractured my elbow. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> like I, I, I feel like it was between like it was like fractured elbow and like torn ligaments in my ankle. Like those were the worst because like yeah. you need those joints. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like just for usage. That's that's <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Like it's just the the. Uh, uh, it impedes your movement so drastically that that's, it's not just painful. It's also, you're like, Fuck, I can't do shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's just like, you're hobbling, like on the angle, you're hobbling around, like fucking on crutches, elbows. Just like, I can't, I couldn't even write. Like, I was just like, I hadn't tried to write like my left hand. I'm not ambidextrous. Like, it's just. That's right. Damn. Nick, have you ever, what injuries do you have? Uh, I, I've gotten uh, like several concussions, broken nose, my nose, uh, playing rugby, and uh, yeah, it's still it's still kind of like crooked, like it, it just kind of takes a little little dip through the through my face. But got a nose, uh, uh, I got a surgery to fix my deviated septum so I can kind of breathe, but yeah, still still uh, still can't really breathe through my nose that well. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I haven't yeah. done that. I only fractured a rib, and I've... But uh, how I got concussions is hilarious. Really? Yeah. Well, Swimming. Then what are you waiting for? We're waiting, yeah. Swimming. Huh? Swimming. Yeah. How did right. you get concussions swimming, you dipshit? Did Competitive swimming. Did you, like, bang your head you on the swim side swim into of the, the wall so many times? Yeah, you're like, nope. oh, fuck. You get nope. kicked? Yeah. Uh, during warm-up, uh, like... When you do like a competitive swim meet, like everyone jumps in the pool to like to like warm up, like you just do laps. Yeah. And as I was doing laps, like someone in the next lane over, like going the opposite direction, like flailed while they were kicking. Yeah. And so as I'm like swimming forward at full speed, they kicked me at full speed going the other way, and like just kicked me in the head. And then I I just like fucking just saw stars in the water, but like I was able I was stayed like stayed with it and like just kept swimming. And then I was like. Oh man, that fucking sucked. My my head hurts, and I'm like, well, just keep swimming, and like <laughs> just kept going, and then I did the whole swim meet, like I competed and oh like won several races, and yeah. then and then like that night at like 11, 11 p.m. like right before bed, I just started throwing up all around my living room, just like as I'm laying down, just like severely concussed, and then went to the emergency room, and they were like, well, you got a concussion, and uh, that's it. <laughs> what are you? What are you supposed to do after a concussion? I know it's like don't don't fall that yeah, don't fall asleep don't after, sleep. but don't fall asleep and and uh, no bright lights really. Yeah, you're not supposed to like work with your computer or anything. You're not really supposed to like read. You're barely supposed to watch TV actually. Yeah, like, well, like what they like 
I think what they told me is like you can watch TV if you're like not looking at it. Yeah. Like you can have it on, but just like don't like. That's don't the radio, you on. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, radio's got nothing good these days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When we last left our heroes, uh, he had a concussion. And... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that, does, are you doing foley for us now? Does does okay? Does anyone else have the perspective that there's a chance that Nick was being bullied at swim meets? Like, does that not? Like, no, you don't get multiple concussions accidentally. During, like, kids would be dropping like flies. I think somebody had a problem with you. You should have fucked someone's shit up, man. I mean, it's it's anonymous though. Everyone's wearing goggles and swim caps. Like, just start fucking throwing they, hands. Somebody had I, a thing I for you, man. Have told you which kid it was. Doesn't matter. You're gonna find out real quick. We're just busting heads. <laughs> Wally has a concussion. He's gonna start. But it makes him. It, that That's makes right. him impervious to pain. Just oh fuck their shit God. up. Who we'll kick me in the face? You kick me in the face? Oh fuck that. Oh Jesus God. Christ, I've know. never had a concussion. You know why? Because I have had like a cinder block. Maybe, maybe you else, kind uh, of deserve one. Anybody else yeah. just thankful that like Dino isn't actively parenting right now? Yes. Like <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. That is definitely fair. Yeah, no, like, when I heard, I forgot which episode it was, but there was a thing where you, you were talking about, uh, like, the possibility that I may have kids someday. I had, like, a bolt of fear fly through. Like, oh, I'll not. tell you right now, yeah. boy or girl, they will be a warlord. <laughs> that's, that's definitely what's happening. They will In know. the world that comes after, they yeah. will be the yeah. one wearing the They suits. will be the, like, they, yeah, I'm fucking raising a... Just you a know, leather jacket made legend of, of guerrilla skin. warfare and like CIA yeah. tactics. Okay, so do you know the genetic Marvel then has whatever your kid's name is? The combat Marvel, the the uh, guerrilla warfare I would say, Marvel, yeah. the once yeah. and true king or queen. Yes. Yeah, the once and true warlord. Well done. Yeah, that's definitely okay. Because... So what's what's your worst injury then? I don't get injured, man. Like I literally, like I fell down. I put. My, jabbed my elbow into my own rib. I kicked my own ass. That's the most injured I've ever been. That counts. Like, but... I was more disappointed, like just disappointed that I didn't catch myself. I'm usually re- people have seen me catch myself on ice and go, "How the fuck did you do that? You're a wizard." And I'm like, "Low center know, of just, gravity." Just, yeah, low center. Yeah, I got that low worst... hanging weight, ladies. <laughs> I think so I sold to my wife, honey. I'm a uh, low hanging here. It's, yeah, no, that's uh, that's why I'm like I've always. No tits, quick. genetic Marvel. Bam! I think uh, Dino's worst injury has been, probably been melted cheese. <laughs> what? You were fat! <laughs> that fat I know. Okay, so fuck you! Okay, listen, I listen, know. listen. I know. You got thin and people still don't like you. Fuck you, it's you that's the problem. Eat shit! <laughs> Son of a bitch! Okay? I'm fat and troll looking and people fucking love my ass. That means I'm better than you. So eat my dick. Wait. Let's get in for another bitch. Oh, that's great. So, so basically, okay, so are we all in, all in agreement that you know to play the, the troll in the day man, right? Oh, God. The who? The, the troll in the, in the day man from It's Always Sunny. Mm. You gotta pay the troll so... That seems fair. That's, yeah. I, I, that probably is accurate. I don't know. As long as he's big and scary, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I'm like, dude, that's the thing. I do a joke where I'm like, yeah, if I saw myself in a dark alley, I'd piss my own pants. Yeah. I'm like, I say that because that shit has happened. I've seen myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh, ooh, damn. You gotta want work the baby on that walk. Boys hole. You want the baby boy's hole? You gotta pay the troll toll. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you not oh, watch It's Always Sunny? I've seen a few episodes. Okay. I don't regularly watch it. But... Oh, me neither, but I've Anybody seen else that still thinking about Dina the Combat Marvel? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking of. Somebody, Definitely. if anybody does fan art, please, Dina the Combat Marvel. <laughs> Absolutely. At your pleasure. And uh, her brother, Santino, the. We will gladly insult, put it. The insult the, comic? The, oh, yeah, yeah, we're on our Twitter. Or something. I, will, I will find a way to animate an avatar if somebody makes an avatar of that, and I will just replace my into- whole thing with just that. Because yeah. that Dina is the Combat genius. Marvel. Spelled with a K. Uh, oh, do you know, <laughs> do you know the combat Marvel? That, yeah. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Just did the sign language K. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't even know that. It looked like a K. I, I it looked like a K, and I'm like, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sure. 
A, B, C, D, E, I think. I, I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, you know what E is? E. E. <laughs> just go. Just go. That was e. not funny. That was not Worst. funny, man. That was My, mean. That's not their fault. That's not I, nice. I, I'm, I'm just, it's the worst letter to mouth. Look. Because like, you can never tell what it is. <laughs> if if I ever had to get in, in a conversation with with somebody in ASL, it would probably just be like, horse, cat, dog, <laughs> abortion. Like, it, it's not... <laughs> I don't know sentences, all right? It took us I less than this. two minutes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Two minutes to go back to the... Abortion. Yeah. Abortion. That is uh, horrific. Yeah. Absolutely horrific. <laughs> My, uh... Oh. Oh, Nick God. brought up sign language. You know what? I, I broke Fuck Nick. you, Nick. I Fuck broke you. Nick. Uh, my, my worst injury, though... Okay, so You're not, not putting counting... not back together, either. Uh, <laughs> not counting when uh, my appendix had gain green on it, because that's not an injury. That's an illness. Uh, what is wrong with you? How the fuck did that happen? So, uh, my appendix like was so large. like a pirate illness. Like, yeah, it is. Pirate like illness. Of, that's exactly. Yeah, that, that's like some World War One like, trench illness. No, it, <sighs> it, it was so large, it wrapped around my large intestine and cut off oxygen to itself. And that's how, and then started rotting. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Your but what did this? My appendix. So, oh. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah wow. isn't that fun, rotting from the inside? But that's not the worst injury. I think like, the worst injury weird is... Weird way to brag about the size of his appendix. Yeah. No, no, it's not. It's not good for it to be. Like, my appendix <laughs> so big. Yeah, uh, my appendix so big. Mm -mm -mm. No, I can digest no. grass. I think. Uh, what? I think it, That's yeah, what I think it might have been used. For. Oh, okay. Yeah. I I think uh, the the worst injury. So when I was fifteen, I was rollerblading, and when I went out, I was like to put on my helmet. And I put on my knee pads, and I put on my wrist guards, and I was like, "I'm not gonna put on elbow pads. There, you never fall on your elbow." Uh, well, it turns out that the universe called bullshit because uh, <laughs> I I fell with like all of my weight on this one, the left elbow. Just mm. Mm. Uh, I feel like people need to learn how to fucking fall. Learning how to fall is essential. Yeah, well, cause, well, because I went to go with my hands with the wrist guards out, but like. The the angle I was going at was hands elbows, you know, like hands, this. Yeah. Oh, just elbows, yeah. Atlas, bro. Yeah. So this elbow <laughs> was just purple for weeks. Like, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, and character. now now I can't lean on it for more than about five seconds without it tingling painfully. Yes, uh, generations. <laughs> Literal funny bone. Yeah. Yeah, that's, so that I definitely permanently fucked something up, and I have no idea what it is. Uh, okay, so I've had yeah. a pain in this shoulder mm -hmm. for, like, a few months, and I'm like, it's always, like, I can't get strength in certain positions. So you're not like, going to be able to pitch in the MLB. What a shame. Uh, <laughs> I throw like a girl, too. I punch like a rocket, but I throw, I can't throw. I just never learned to throw. I can't oh, throw. God. I can't throw either. It's a family curse. Oh when, but I you still know, punch like a cinder box. <laughs> yeah. So wait, what, what, what's up with the position? Like you can't. So it's like or... so I like if I grab something behind me, like I have very little strength. Like at that, if I'm at like, this extension and mm -hmm. try and move, like it's it's like nah, you shouldn't do that. And like, <laughs> it's just, but like, but it's like the other ways. So I'm like, I'm trying to stretch it in different ways because I'm like, it's something is pinched or something. And but I'm like, at the same time, it's not like my life is physically uh, demanding. Are, are you? I do not mean this in an insulting way. Like, sure. can you do push-ups? Like a girl push-up, yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> I'm just thinking one. in terms of, like, what, when you your body distribution in a plank position. Like, can there... I can plank. I can't okay. do a push-up. So my, okay. my issue is my chest strength. I have very... I, I'm built weird because in that way. Because you have like, no tits. Because I have no tits, it has resulted in a very weak chest. So it's yeah. like it takes me a lot longer to build muscle in my uh, arms so. and my uh, uh, chest, yeah, but my sure. like my back and like traps are monstrous, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, like I and look like a hunchback, but I'm straight. Like it's just yeah. <laughs> so, and you yeah. you must have incredible grip strength. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's 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 something that I probably like. That's why I'm like I have monstrous thing. Yeah. I even have like the little divot thing here. Like I have good forms because of that. 
I my even thing like if I was doing like if you uh, ever have to like leverage yourself like the amount of weight like you're just putting on on yeah. that that hand is incredible. The, well, and that's why I'm like so I just try and adjust things like I try and stay balanced and that stuff because like dude I I'm right now so I'm like three sixty ish, and like I've lost I've lost like 80, 90 pounds right like You've it's lost impressive. a human. Yeah. I've lost I've lost a prepubescent human. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, or, uh, or a model. It's like not a nice one. More than that, yeah. What yeah, like hundred pounds. Oh. I've never been good at estimating because well, they're, they're tall. Yeah. yeah, and they have to be meaty in certain ways. Yes, yes, these right. are facts, and that that weighs, you know. Um, yeah, it, it weighs yes, it's, it's expanding material, but yeah, no. So it's like that's. Like little things like that. I'm like this size. I'm while well, I'm comfortable in it right now, and I'm like, I don't feel like I'm gonna die. Uh, at the same time, like I can. It's taxing, right? Like I lean on stuff, and it's like that might be its last day. Like that's just it <laughs> might break underneath me. Like I don't trust cement. I walk on. I like, I, I, I always like enjoyed when we would go to like a new venue, like and, and you just uh, I would watch you and be like, which chair could do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> that is that's 100% like the what number, happens. The number of the dive bars I've been in where Dino's just stood the whole night. Like, <laughs> that's true. It's yeah. just easier. It's, it's uh, just easier. Man, yeah. man, I went to one place and they had like a uh, high like bar stools, but it had like an arm, like a backrest with arms that came around. And it was too small for me to slide back into, but it was a really comfy. So if it didn't have the armrests, it was fine, right? Did you hulk out of the chair? I would have. Uh, no, I just broke the armrests on one of them. I just bent them down. I was like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, nah, better. And there that's the go. thing. Like that was at 450 pounds, and I'm like, yeah. What are you gonna do? Say no? Be like, hey, you broke that, yeah. Or I could break the whole fucking thing. Like I'll just <laughs> lean on your bar, and just eventually it'll just like that's just. It's a lot of mass, right? It is. That's why I'm like, now I'm I'm comfortable, but it's still, I'm like, I need to get a new uh, office chair because I'm like, this thing is, it's feeling the pain, man. I'm on this thing every day. It's like, it was experience just holding my wife. My wife's tiny. Like, this me, is, it's like, uh, oh, not again, you fat fuck. <laughs> this has been wonderful. And again, I, I would just like to remind the listeners, the topic today was I call bullshit. That's right. <laughs> this is where we ended. The chair calls bullshit. <laughs> oh, God. That's 100% I, I, accurate. This is a great go. Uh, I love that. All right. Uh, Danton, where can everyone find you? Uh, yeah, find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Danton Lamar. Um, follow the Black Tea Collective. Do our His shows, shows are great. Shows at Black Tea Collective, BLKT Collective. What's uh, yeah. what's the Black Tea Collective? So it's our art collective. We're basically just trying to uh, like it's our well, like our, our production company. So we do events and like we're gonna start we're shooting a short next month, and then next summer we're planning to shoot a TV show. Awesome. So you know we're doing shit like yeah, just trying hey, to get did. Uh, if you have the need of a uh, giant white a ape, troll. I can definitely be that. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody else. We're gonna have try and have a link in the uh, description for you for uh, yes. uh, Black Tea Collective and for Dan Lamar. Yes. Uh, but yeah, this has been uh, Generation Dan. Have a great uh, week, and uh, we'll see. What did I, I hang was on. Close it out. Oh, where, sorry, you have stuff where? to talk about. No, where they can find us because if they're listening, they can't. Right see here, you. they're already watching. <laughs> well, it's no, a, for like social media, it could be it could aw. be anyone's first episode. You know, that's true. You yeah, can find true. me on Instagram at Nick Fernandez Comedy. Atlas, where they, can they find you? They can find me at Atlas Novak on Twitter or Instagram. Or you can find him in the Harvard uh, Medicine roster <laughs> as Dr. Aslitz Nocock. MD. MD. Uh, <laughs> give him a look up there. Uh, oh he did God. quite well in organic chemistry. Oh well, just God. be careful. If you go around the corner, you might find Nick Fletcher <laughs> Fernandez as well. <laughs> That's in right. the cafeteria. Dino, yeah. where, they, where can they find you? <laughs> I bet just Dino the Genetic Marvel. You can just Google Dino the Genetic Marvel, and this is the face you see. It is a treat for the eyes and for the ears. Follow me everywhere, guys. Um, producing I call on bullshit daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I have a nice tone to my voice. I'm not, I, I don't know, say I'm nice just, things. I call but... bullshit. 
Have a good week, guys. Bye, everybody.